Hi, my name is Niall, and I am making a cinematic short film within the Unreal 5 engine. This devlog series will be a full documentation of the journey, and the reason why I am creating these videos is to show you behind the scenes of how I tackle large-scale projects. We will be diving into planning systems, project organization, pipelines, and so much more. Within this episode, I will be covering the changes made to the main story, the techniques which I use for planning my project, software pipelines, how I block and build environments, and lastly, we will touch on MetaHuman. The original story leaned quite heavily into the dystopian world where a detective would be tasked with solving a series of mysterious murders within a small town. I had intended for the antagonist to be either a monster or an android. Some major changes had been made to the settings, characters, and antagonist. However, the core DNA remains the same. Our main character will no longer be a detective, but rather a single member that is part of a team of firefighters. Our environment will feature a farm on the outskirts of a small town. Lastly, our antagonist will be a monster that threatens the safety of that town's inhabitants. With the firefighters discovering its motives, they are left with the dilemma of saving their own skins or the lives of the town. I personally believe that planning is the most important section when tackling a large scale project like this. The obstacles that you can think of in the planning phase ensure that you are well equipped to tackle them within production. I started by creating a screenplay for my story that included scene, camera and lighting details. By breaking the entire story into multiple blocks, I was able to explore each one within more detail. For example, I created scene maps for the farm, fire truck, house, tunnel and lair. That way I could brainstorm what 3D models would need to be collected or modeled within Blender. To keep my projects neatly labeled, I decided to create a master folder with two Unreal 5 projects within it. These included a master project for blocking and environments, with the second being for testing developer tools, animations and metahuman. This ensures my computer doesn't get overwhelmed, causing me to lose any work. Within my master blocking project, I created a series of levels and sequences for each scene. Then a plan for how each of these levels would be lit and what type of weather system each would include. As this is the pre-production phase, I will focus on the first section of the software pipeline. So for concept art, I have been using Midjourney and using this piece of technology has been both a scary but exciting experience. The results at the click of a button are jaw dropping. However, Midjourney does lack the ability to nail narrative driven composition. So to get a more human touch, I collected a series of screen grabs from films, which I felt fit my narrative. I looked at films such as Dune, Prisoners, No Country for Old Men, and The Secret War from Love, Death and Robots. Using Pure Ref, I was able to create a large and extensive mood board. And by selecting individual images from both AI and film, I was able to create a storyboard for my short film. Before committing to modeling and lighting, I like to block out each individual scene using super low poly models. To do this, I use the asset file pack from the Unreal 5 engine, which is free. This way I can create scenes and test different camera angles and simple lighting setups. Once this stage is completed, we can move into environment design that focuses more on the fine details process. I would like to thank everyone for their continued support on this channel. To give back, I am sharing more flowcharts just like these in the video that go more in depth on my pipelines and workflows over on my Patreon. They are free to view, and if you would like to support the project and the channel moving forward, you can sign up for more content there. Thank you. When creating environments, I find it best to split the world into three categories. Primary objects include characters and hero items that take center focus. Secondary items can include objects such as infrastructure or items that tell the story of your world. Tertiary items include small details such as fauna or man place objects that tell small stories within the scene. For this process, I will be silent and let you see how I build scenes using this type of logic.
As our film will feature four characters, I plan on using MetaHuman for any facial animation. Not all four characters will need a high quality rig and can simply function through the story with simple Mixamo animations. However, for the more close hero shots, I will need to find a way to motion capture their animations. To achieve that, I am going to use Face Link, but for the time being, I will be putting a pin in MetaHuman as that is for a later episode. This was the first video covering pre-production in more depth, blocking, and environment development. For the next episode, I aim to have my animatic completed, where each scene is blocked with simple animations. This allows you to test the tempo and rhythm of your scene before committing. It would be great to hear your opinions on this series, and if you enjoy the more in-depth breakdown for creating cinematics. Thank you for watching, and I shall hopefully see you in the next episode.